BYU senior running back Tyson Williams after a much needed and much celebrated win over oh, USC on Saturday. We were just watching the fans rush the field again as we came back in, Tyson. Walk us through where you were during that whole melee. Yes, I was uh, talking to one of the uh, USC linemen because uh, he was actually a grad transfer, so we, we went on a, a couple trips together. So I was just talking to him about the game and stuff like that, and then next thing you know, like I'm on the other side of the field, saw the fans coming down, and um, of course you had to walk through it, so I just walked through it and you know, met some of the fans, took some pictures and stuff like that. Is that a keep your helmet on situation? So just for protection from the fans, or is it a take it off? Because if you keep it on, you're going to get hit on the head, right? Yeah. Uh, I had my helmet off. I actually couldn't find my helmet. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, it was just one of those situations. I mean, whatever you were doing or whatever you had on, it was just you kind of just had to be there and just be in that moment and, you know, just appreciate the fans because I know they were, they were excited. Where, have you been in a uh, storm, uh, a field storm situation? No, that was my first one. Okay. That was my first one, and that was pretty I cool. It was good? Yeah. Yeah. It was exciting, right? And then there was the, wait, we got to review it. Everyone yeah. back up. Yeah. <laughs> Come back on. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. What are, what are the emotions of that like for you as a player? Like, oh, we won the game. Oh, yeah. hang on a second. They got to review it. What was that like? Yeah. So, I mean, when it first happened, I was just kind of like, let me make sure. Uh, I was trying to find Diane to talk to him and ask him, like, like did you think you, you caught it? And um, I was just—I kept asking everybody, like, "Where's Dying? Where's Dying?" I could never find them. And, <laughs> and uh, they end up reviewing everything, and um, it came out in our favor. Do you get confused for Dying because you're also number five? Uh, me and him don't have any problems. I think that's more for the people watching the game. <laughs> yeah, because it, it's tough, especially in that sc the scrum play, yeah. right? It's yep. like, oh, five. Well, that's naturally Tyson. No, yep. it's Dying on Wolaku, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hey, ESPN gave you credit for the touchdown because uh, they thought uh, Dying was you. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to take any credit from him because that's something we rep hard at practice, and he does a great job when he has the ball in his hand. So, um, yeah, it was just good to see him get in there. Yeah. Another game with exactly 20 touches for you. This time, 19 carries. You caught one pass. Mm -hmm. Is 20 the magic number for you? Uh, for me, I feel like the magic number is just whatever we need to, to get the win. Um, that's honestly, anytime anybody asks me, that's always what I would try to say. And uh, just whatever the team needs from me, I'm just trying to get it done. That is such a, a veteran season to answer. <laughs> yes. You, yes. You, are, you are a veteran. And <laughs> be like... I, Perhaps this has been told to you, but I think BYU's really needed you. And I told you at the Big Blue Bash a couple weeks ago, you came at the right time. BYU needs you right now. Um, ha have you felt that dependence, that need within the team context of, oh, I can come in and really have an impact on this team? And you have. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But it also, it's, it's been in other areas because, uh, you know, up until this point, it's just kind of just been about football. I mean, it's kind of been in all aspects. Leadership, um, just trying to, you know, uh, bring the younger guys up, um, telling them, everything that I've learned throughout my uh, career. And um, I don't know, I just, I just feel like I've just taken on a bigger role um, as a person and player. Brett, can you just record? Brett Pines with us in studio, sports information director. Every one of his answers, just record and play for all the other <laughs> players that come through. They're the perfect answers. They really are. You're great. Yeah, we're going to have a media uh, yeah, they do, conference they do for media all training. the players. <laughs> play Tyson's on that. Watch what Tyson did. It's all good. It's fantastic. Now let's talk about some of these uh, specific plays, notably the early fake reverse pitch, because you pitched that one to Aleve Hifo against Tennessee in overtime. Mm -hmm. You keep it this time. Mm -hmm. uh, was that designed to be a fake, or uh, do you have the option? What is that? Yeah, yeah, it was de it was designed to be a fake just because we knew they, they ran a lot of man coverage. So, um, you know, once we, we ran that plate, they ran with Lever, and it was wide open. Um, I should have scored, but. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your frustration. Yeah. I'm like, why did I not cut yeah, back inside? Yeah, I should have cut back inside. I should have cut back inside, but it's just one of those things, the player, I mean, you're not going to make, you know, every correct read, so. I just had to, to get over. I'm just glad we got points on the board that drive, though, because yeah. I would have been really upset if we uh, hadn't scored. How did you feel at the beginning of the game when USC goes and scores? This has been the case in all three games where the opponent has gone and scored on that first one, but mm -hmm. then the defense buckles down, and they force two takeaways on back-to-back -back drives. Yeah, that was big. That was big. Uh, just any time you can win the turnover ratio, and then I feel like for me as an offense, any time we get the ball in, like, plus territory like that, uh, it just it just creates a lot of momentum, and then you know it's able, we're able to put points on the board regardless if it's seven or three. BYU senior running back Tyson Williams with us on BYU Sports Nation. What was the atmosphere of the sideline like at different stages of the game on Saturday? Um, I know. Uh, I feel like we just kept 
cheering each other up. I know in defense when they gave up, like they may have given up a touchdown. I was like, hey, we're good, we're good. Like we still had each other's back and stuff like that. So and in offense, we just try to keep keep each other going. And uh, I, I really don't think at any point of the game that we felt down or out or anything like that. We just kept chipping away, kept chipping away, and then uh, you see what happened at the end. Overtime can be nerve-wracking, right? It's a short field for both. If you don't get a first down, you're kicking for three. If you go first, you know, it, it can be nerve-wracking. Yet you guys had played an overtime game the week before. Did that, did that change things in this situation? Yeah, I just feel like in a situation like that, most teams uh, tend to get worn down and uh, mentally fatigued. And I think for us, it's just like this is a moment where we thrive and we can take advantage of it. Did the Tennessee game help since you had already played an overtime game yeah, the week yeah, before? Yeah, it always helps when you uh, – have an overtime game the week before, and then you come into this game and have another overtime game, so it always helps. And then in this situation, BYU goes first and settles for the field goal, so now yeah. you're watching. So what's it like as you watch the defense need to get a stop or force a field goal? Yeah, so uh, I was just like, we just got it. We got to get a stop. We got it. And they have been playing good all day, and like I said, they, they were able to create another turnover once again in overtime, so uh, it's just they have played, they played a great game. That's pretty much all I can say. Tyson Williams on BYU Sports Nation. Let's talk about the play of your quarterback, Zach Wilson. And he takes some flack as being the pretty boy, mm -hmm. the diva. <laughs> yeah. But the last two weeks, he's been ultra clutch. Yeah. What do you think of your quarterback's play on Saturday? Yeah, he's, he's been making great plays. And, I mean, honestly for us, I mean, that's what we've been seeing. Um, you know, since I first met him and the first time we got on the field, that's who he's been. So to me and everybody in that locker room, it's not a surprise, but um, I think he's just continued to mature, take his game to the next level, and he's just doing great for us. I'm glad he's, uh, he's our quarterback. I echo the sentiment of BYU uh, Nation in that same idea. We're <laughs> glad he's the BYU quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. In the post-game press conference, there's this photo of him. You're talking, and he has this big smile. And someone said, find you a supporter like Zach Wilson of Tyson Williams. What's that relationship like between you two now three games into the season? Yeah, uh, I think it's just um, – I honestly would just say I feel like he takes a lot of pressure off me, and I feel like I take a lot of pressure off him, and – um, we just try to work together and um, just try to create plays and continue just to lead the offense and things like that um, each and every time we step out there on the field. Some people nationally are calling him Mormon Manziel. What do you think? Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't give him the Manziel tag. I feel like he's his own quarterback. Um, and, you know, I don't want to talk too much about Manziel, but <laughs> Wilson, uh, Zach Wilson's a, a great quarterback. We'll come up with a different Yeah, Yeah, we All got right. to get one more original yeah. To him. Yeah, plus I know the uh, people don't want to use Mormon. So yeah. Members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Manziel. Yeah. Tyson, you played at williams Bryce Stadium, which is a raucous environment. Yeah. How did the environment on Saturday at Lavelle Edwards Stadium compare to what you played in before? Yeah, I think I think it was a great atmosphere. I think it was a great atmosphere. Uh, I know we, we were trying to get them just to uh, just be more energetic, stuff like that for uh, defense on third downs, and I think they did a great job causing a lot of problems for USC and, and things like that. So, um, you know, to our fans, just keep just keep doing that, and um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help us in the long run. Let's talk about your mom, Natasha, who serves in the military. Mm -hmm. She goes to all your games except when she has to serve on the weekends, right? And yeah. she couldn't make this one, but yeah. she's going to be in town Saturday. Um, what's that relationship like, and uh, what branch of the military does she serve in? Uh, that's a great relationship. Um, it's kind of just like she's a single parent uh, raising me, so she kind of just uh, you know did, did all she could. And that's kind of one of the reasons I feel like she joined the Army, joined the service and things like that, just because she wanted to make sure uh, you know, I had a great life growing up. And, um, yeah, I, I feel like um, – well, she's in the U.S. Army. And, um, yeah, I just, I'm just happy that, you know, she's my mom and – Happy to, for everything that she's ever done for me. Is that who you ran to uh, after the touchdown in overtime, Tennessee? Yeah, yeah. You ran straight to her, right? Yeah, I ran to all my family. Oh, gave, I love gave, it. Gave them a hug, and I was just glad they could be there at that moment. They had a good seat, too, front row. Oh, right? yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> they got good tickets. Yeah. <laughs> nice job, everybody. Yeah. Tyson, let's finish with this. You turn the page, and in comes another ranked opponent out of the Pac-12, uh, the Washington Huskies, who are defending Pac-12 champions. What do you know about Washington at this point as you prepare for the Huskies? Well, I haven't seen too much of them defensively, but just keeping up with them, I know they're a great team, um, have a great offense, great quarterback. Um, so, like I said, I mean, it pretty much doesn't change our preparation. We're just going to continue to do what we've been doing, preparing the right way. I feel like that's the most important thing. And, uh, you know, on Saturday, you know, we'll go out there. We'll be ready. He is a model of media etiquette, people. Tyson Williams.
You're the you're the golden child, the poster boy of how to handle the media interviews, my friend. Grad yes, school sir. going well? Yes, sir. It's going good. It's awesome. going good. That's Got great. class in a few minutes. Okay, let's get you out to class then. <laughs> yes, yeah. but you need to sign our uh, Sailor Coog flag before you go. Tyson, great yes, to have you, man. Yes, okay, Thank awesome. You. I, I, like I said, so good to have him here now this season. Fantastic. And shout out to Natasha for the amazing example. Yes. Single mom in the army. Are you kidding me? That's uh, awesome. So fantastic. Coming up.